Warm up to my right. Ben, ball, halt! To the right here. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please stand for the New Zealand National Anthem and the Australian National Anthem, led by the Deco Bay Brass Band, conducted by Robbie Cargill, and the Hastings Choral Society with musical direction from Joe Christensen. Good morning. Anzac Day is about remembering stories of our nationhood alongside the very personal stories of the men and women who served. Stories of our parents, our grandparents and great-grandparents. These are our stories. On Anzac Day, we look to the past, remembering those who strove to protect our future. We remember those who served on foreign battlefields 
and those who stayed behind, those who lost their lives, and those who survived. New Zealand sent more to fight in World War I per head of population than any other nation of those killed. About a third were buried half a world away in unmarked graves. On Anzac Day, we remember. And now, a welcome from Her Worship the Mayor of Hastings, Sandra Hazelhurst. Tina Koto Katoa, Na Mihi Mahana Ki Koto, No Mai Haere Mai, Piki Mai, Kaki Mai. I am proud and honoured at Hastings Mayor to welcome you to our Anzac Day dawn service. May I acknowledge our special guests, Tuki Tuki MP Lawrence Yule, Ngāti Kahanunu Chair, Ngā Hiwi Tomoana, RSA members, our veterans and their families, and everyone who has joined us here today. This morning we gather to pay tribute to our men and women who serve bravely for our country and who courageously sacrifice their lives in exchange for our peace and our freedom. More than 100 years on, we remember the enormous pain families suffered through the loss of their loved ones to war and to conflict and the pain of those who returned from war, who struggled to live a happy life in the aftermath of the horrors they had experienced. Here at home, we recently felt the enormous pain of Christchurch terrorist attack. Today, the world continues to face unrest, conflict, racism, hatred and fear. More than ever, we must remain united in love and acceptance, for only love and acceptance will bring peace and harmony to the world. And it is here today that we remember those who gave their lives